Justin Fields is one of the hottest topics in the 2021 NFL Draft, second behind only Trevor Lawrence. Fields has been behind Lawrence at every level, going back to when he was the number two player in the 2018 class behind only Lawrence. But it's not too late for Fields to overtake him for the number one pick in the draft. If you love JD Productions, check out JD Hoops, where we're going to be uploading basketball content soon. We will be releasing our first video once we hit 2,000 subscribers. So go subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Justin Schuyler Fields was born on March 5th, 1999 in Atlanta, Georgia. Fields attended Harrison High School in Kennesaw, Georgia. He started at quarterback for two years, recording 4,187 yards and 41 touchdowns passing, along with 2,096 rushing yards and 28 touchdowns. Coming out of high school, Fields was a rated five-star recruit and was the second best player in the nation and the eighth best recruit of all time. He committed to play college football at the University of Georgia. As a true freshman, Fields served as the Bulldogs backup to Jake Fromm. Fields did see some action in 12 games, but was used pretty sparingly, recording 328 yards, 4 touchdowns, 266 rushing yards, and 4 touchdowns. Likely realizing that he would be stuck behind Fromm for the near future, Fields announced that he was going to transfer away from Georgia. About a month later, Fields decided to transfer to Ohio State University. He was granted immediate eligibility for the 2019 season, despite normally having to sit out due to NCAA transfer rules. Then, when he he got into Columbus, well, Fields had a great first season. The Buckeyes went 13-1 with him behind center and went on to win the Big Ten Championship over Wisconsin in order to secure a spot in the college football playoff. The Buckeyes ultimately fell in the Fiesta Bowl to Clemson and, of course, Trevor Lawrence. Fields had a fantastic year, though, and finished third in Heisman voting after recording 3,273 yards and 41 touchdowns to only three interceptions, plus 484 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns. Coming into the 2020 season, Fields was one of the best players on the radar of everyone as the 2021 NFL Draft approaches. In the Buckeyes' first contest, Fields showed out and proved just how accurate he can be. He completed 20 of 21 passes for 276 yards and two touchdowns, while adding 54 yards and a touchdown on the ground. Ohio State had no problem with Nebraska, downing the Cornhuskers 52-17. to The next week, Ohio State faced the disaster that is Penn State, and Fields showed out again, this time going 28 of 34 for 318 yards and four touchdowns. Ohio State won the contest 38 to 25. The Buckeyes got a cupcake of a matchup against Rutgers after coming away with a 49 to 27 win. Fields continued his rampage by completing 28 of 28 passes for 314 yards and five touchdowns, plus another score on the ground. That means that through three games this season, Fields was completing a ridiculous 86.7% of his passes for 908 yards and had 13 total touchdowns to zero interceptions. That's wild, but he finally finally got his first test on November 21st against number 9 Indiana after a Buckeyes bye week. For the only time this season, Fields completed less than 80% of his passes, only completing 60% while throwing three interceptions, his only on the year. He had 300 yards and two touchdowns along with 78 rushing yards and a touchdown. The Buckeyes escaped with a 42-35 victory, but the Hoosiers did something that we hadn't been able to see all season, rattle Justin Fields. The Buckeyes have three new matchups against Big Ten opponents to close out the regular season. Fields will have some tests against Illinois, Michigan State, and Michigan in back-to-back-to-back -back -back weeks before the Buckeyes will likely face off in the Big Ten Championship with a chance to go to the college football playoff on the line. With about six months until the draft, Fields certainly has a shot to catch down the projected number one overall pick, Trevor Lawrence. Fields has always been on the tail of Lawrence, dating back to the 2018 recruiting class when he was the number two recruit in the nation behind Lawrence. Lawrence, of course, already has more experience playing in college and has a national championship on his resume. May. Meanwhile, Fields couldn't beat out Jake Fromm at Georgia. Fields would probably be the first overall pick in almost any other draft, but that's been the story of his football career, honestly, is just being stuck in the shadow of Lawrence. Fields has somehow always been one step behind, but there's no doubt that he could be the best quarterback in the class over time. Fields has a serious chance to take over Lawrence for the number one overall selection. I believe that if Fields wins the Heisman, that's his path going first. Let's take a look at the last three NFL drafts. In 2019, Joe Burrow won the Heisman on the way to going number one. Kyler Murray did the same in 2018 and Baker Mayfield did it in 2017. Oh, and the Heisman winner in 2016 was Lamar Jackson. Safe to say that he 
injuries worked out. The reality is that if Fields can end strong and earn the recognition for the best quarterback in the country, he may go one. Teams don't care what Lawrence did as a freshman. They care more about what Fields did in 2020. Justin Fields has great arm strength and mechanics. He can zip the ball downfield, and he has a great deep ball. Uber important in today's game, he can also make plays with his feet. Fields can evade pressure and is capable of making accurate passes on the move. When he's behind center, teams are going to have to worry about him using his legs, making him perfect for NFL teams that want to use a run-pass option. Now, his arm is super strong, but it can be inaccurate at times. Additionally, his playmaking is questionable at times, and the main thing he's going to have to learn in the pros is getting rid of the ball. Fields loves throwing the ball deep or even just up if he's under pressure. That will not fly in the NFL. That ball has to get out of bounds. Fields is super talented, super talented, but we need to have a conversation about Ohio State quarterbacks. In no way is Fields the same player as Dwayne Haskins. Fields is much more talented and has his play experience that Haskins didn't, but I do worry that they're falling into the same issue we've seen for so many years with Buckeyes quarterbacks like Terrell Pryor and Braxton Miller. The Ohio State offense under Urban Meyer and now Ryan Day is a stat-friendly spread offense. Meyer has had some amazing quarterbacks under him that have thrived in college, but his collegiate quarterbacks have all gone on to phase out in the NFL with the exception of Alex Smith, who was utilized near perfectly by Jim Harbaugh. The offense is simple, and if the ball even leaves Fields' hands, chances are it was his first read. Fields is so talented, but I do worry that his scheme at Ohio State won't translate the way we saw it not work for Haskins. Regardless, Justin Fields has the pure talent that I don't believe any previous Urban Meyer quarterbacks had. Fields has the tools to be a superstar at the next level. Level, and it's no doubt that he should be a top selection in the 2021 NFL Draft. He's going to go top five no matter what, but Fields has a serious chance to outbid Trevor Lawrence for number one if Ohio State can make a run or even win the national championship. And who knows, maybe Justin Fields captures a Heisman Trophy on the way. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more J&D. We read all of your DMs and love hearing what y'all have to say. We looking to fly, my dude, I know I can do the night justice, trust in my crew can cause a ruckus cause we on top. Can't stop once we get a beat locked and hop in, we headed to Dobson, it's poppin' till the cops pull up hot cause they smoke and roll up, so snort and blow a lot. Please give me